Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Melanie Bledsoe and I am a CPA, the owner and sole operator of Bledsoe Consulting Services and a QuickBooks Pro advisor. For my clients, I prepare tax returns, provide tax planning, business strategy sessions, QuickBooks Online training, and CPA coaching. I started my business because I wanted to help small business owners be successful by helping them better assess the financial health of their company. I enjoy educating my clients and started this channel so that I could provide this information to a wider audience. Along with publishing videos on this channel, I also intend to upload more courses on my Udemy channel. If there are topics you wish for me to cover in future videos, then leave a comment below. Also, I really appreciate it if you support this channel by subscribing, giving me a thumbs up, and sharing this video and channel with anyone else you may think might find this video useful. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a budget using QuickBooks Online. Having a budget is crucial when it comes to planning the ins and outs of your business. The budgeting feature is only available on QuickBooks Online Plus. Therefore, if you wish to create a budget and you are using QuickBooks Simple Start or QuickBooks Essentials, then you will need to upgrade your subscription in order to use this feature. For this example, I am using the QuickBooks Sample Company, which is a fake company that QBO provides for users to try new features and conduct training. So first, you'll go to the gear icon and under the Tools menu, select Budgeting. If you've never created a budget, then you will click this Add Budget button. First, you'll need to name your budget. I'm going to keep this really simple by naming it 2017 Budget. Usually, you'll want to create a budget for the next year, but I'm using the current year since we already have some data loaded and it will enable us to have a basis of comparison. Next, you'll choose the fiscal year. We're going to do fiscal year 2017, but as you can see, it goes all the way to 2022. Next, you'll select whether you wish to budget on a monthly, quarterly, or yearly interval. I recommend creating a budget on a monthly interval for greater visibility and management. You can select the option to pre-fill data with actual information from the current or prior year. This is helpful if you have a lot of fixed expenses that aren't going to change. Also, it provides a basis of comparison. Since I'm using a sample company, I'm not going to use this feature, but when I budget for my own company, I will use this feature. Next, we have the subdivision feature, which provides an option to subdivide by customer. I'm not going to select this option, but it is available for you if you wish to use it. Okay, so now we have all the variables completed. Let's click Next. Now we enter the budget information. The amounts you will use will be based on the setup of your chart of accounts. Therefore, it's crucial that your chart of accounts are set up properly. Now we're going to go down each applicable category and enter information. This sample company is a landscaping company, so this design income account is for the income expected for designing the layouts of the yard. Now I'll enter $5,000 and use this arrow to extend it across for the entire year. Now one thing to mention is seasonality. For this business, they are likely to have more business in the spring and summer months versus the fall and winter. So let's adjust this for seasonality. So here I'm making sure that our income increases in the spring and in the summer and then it decreases when we go into the fall and winter months. Okay, so let's move down the rest of the categories with the same thought process. And just keep in mind, I'm making up these figures, I'm entering data just based on guesstimates. But whenever you do a real budget, you'll want to use projections. So some questions that this particular business owner would ask are, how many customers do I expect to retain? How many new customers do I expect to obtain? Will my prices increase? If so, by how much? 
Will my expenses increase? If so, by how much? Or can I minimize my expenses? Will I add employees, change subscriptions, advertise more or less? These are just a few questions an owner considers when making a budget. So after I have entered all of the variables, I save the budget, and now when I go into the budgeting section, it will be here. If I wish to edit the budget prior to the new year, then I can go to the action menu, click the drop down, and edit the budget. I can also delete the budget, run a budget versus actual report, and run a budget overview report. So that is how you create a budget using QuickBooks Online. Make sure to subscribe so that you'll know the next time I create a video. The next video will be a continuation of this video and will show how to use these reports. We will run a budget versus actual report and a budget overview report. Did this video help you? Have any other questions? Then please leave them below. Make sure to follow me on Instagram or Facebook at Bledsoe Consulting Services so that we can keep in touch. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.